you guys, today I'm all dressed in flowers and probably you can't tell but I'm actually wearing this floral two-piece set because that's the topic of this video in which I got for you a fantastic selection of floral perfumes which feature notes of flowers that bloom in spring. So in case you're a fan of those, make sure to keep on watching this video for all the details but also please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up because I've been working on it for a long time and this is actually my third attempt filming it so good luck to me, you make sure to subscribe and then we can get started. So hello and welcome everyone to this spring video because we are going to be talking about notes of flowers that glow in spring and how they smell in perfumes. But not only because I also want to touch on a few blossoming spring trees because they definitely set up this beautiful spring atmosphere. However, not this year in Germany because everything was kind of blooming under the rain here and it is still pretty chilled outside. However, I have this beautiful spring bouquet behind me for the inspiration and there are not as many spring flowers as there were last week when I first was filming this video but it took me a long time to get as many springy fragrances as I could so I hope you will enjoy watching this video it's gonna be long but definitely take a few notes maybe watch it a couple of times and let me know down below in the comment section what is your most favorite spring flower I have a lot of favorites but probably number one would be lilac just because usually it blooms on my birthday however not this time and it's intoxicating a little bit sweet a little bit fruity and very powdery scent is truly addictive so I have this new fragrance in my collection that is called A Love at First Signed by the brand Uno Nomad that was saving not only my birthday but whole spring season for me basically this year because it has very lilac -y character in the opening there is beautiful note of maracuya and it adds just a little bit more freshness and fruitiness however fragrance turns floral there is lilac together with acacia with more honey nuance so it is very fresh very floral truly spring and modern in the dry down because there is ambroxan so it feels unisex and perfect for the spring and summertime you can get it from their official website with my discount and I highly recommend you to check it out and let me know what do you think about lilac in perfumes because I really like this kind of underrated note and have a lot of favorite fragrances with it in my collection for example there is another one that is called Lilas Exquisite and it has more of this vintage vibe Jacques Fass perfume collection is spectacular and this has been my all-time favorite because not only Lilac is the star of this show I would say there are so many other beautiful spring flowers in here probably that's why I'm addicted to this a little bit more vintage fragrance because there is also a note of hyacinth that was really popular way back in the days then also linden blossom and magnolia that we are gonna be talking about in this video as well and more cool musky dry down so it has more of nostalgic vibe maybe because of violet and some interesting blueberry nuances so a bit more water a bit more coolness about this flowers and I really like this fragrance maybe when it is just starting to get warmer during the springtime so not during the hotter days but in case you are into more vintagey fragrances with floral character I think you will really enjoy that one however something absolutely modern unisex and totally pretty is Aphrodite by Tatiana Terenzi which is sort of like an underrated perfume in their collection and it is so so truly gorgeous because lilac in here is delicate is refined together with white currant and white peach some other flowers and sweetened by vanilla musk this is something exceptional and I feel like more people need to talk about it including myself so in case you're looking for a truly gorgeous floral fragrance and you want lilac to be just a little bit more noticeable than other fragrances that's the one for you however I have here something truly special by Anatole Everton that is called Le Gullieret, probably just mispronounced the name, but you guys, this is the scent of white lilacs and also Lily of the Valley, we are going to be talking about it in more detail today, but in here I also smell clean white mask and powdery heliotrope, but the most amazing thing is that it gives you the impression of cutting lilacs 
that you put in the vase after and the thing is it is quite leafy green not too powdery not too floral and at the same time totally spring like so it's a great lilac fragrance but the one that i have as a transitioning perfume is called be mine and there is lilac in this fragrance by saver but not only there is also linden blossom and it has more kind of like a honey nuance and lots of these spring flowers because they are so intoxicating have kind of like almost plasticky mod ball like nuance that perfumers need to work on in order to create most accurate um, floral accord right and in this fragrance that particular nuance is specifically very very noticeable i can detect it really well and it is kind of cutting edge but in a nice way so when i wear it with other fragrances i can really smell it it just brings in something so edgy but i totally enjoy that so if you know what i'm talking about then i think you will really enjoy this fragrance that has lilac and linden blossom that we are going to be talking about next and this is basically this huge tree and when it is blooming there are kind of bees all around so in case you see it make sure to sniff on it but be careful with those bees so I feel like the name was perfect for that fragrance regarding the linden blossom I definitely need to mention this beautiful fragrance Lava Ukraine by Matt Malek that he created as an ode to Ukrainians and was inspired by this beautiful linden tree in Kiev so this is a scent with tea and honey nuances of linden blossom very powdery but delicate kind of like in Guerlain style so I can only recommend you this perfume for me it is very special and I'm very glad that I have something so interesting creative beautiful and symbolic in my collection so make sure to give it a try and huge shout out and thank you to Matt but I really want to talk about another all-time favorite of mine which is the soft lawn by imaginary authors because if we are talking about linden blossom this is one of the most interesting perfumes i can recommend you because it will really take you to the tennis court and you will smell this a little bit rubbery sensation of a tennis ball and i'm not kidding you check it out you will be impressed so there is something mossy a little bit dirty and you'll get an impression of playing tennis but in a park so it's green and there are also linden trees blooming so i really like this unisex perfume and believe it or not it's also quite complimenting so that's really interesting about it but now let me introduce you one of the most interesting and beautiful perfumes that I have in my collection which is Linderhofer Morgan by the brand Par Charles Wong and to you guys it just reminds me of those perfumes that my mom used to wear when I was little they were powdery really well blended and super well balanced so you couldn't really pinpoint the notes in there and we have so many of spring flowers in here like a peony mimosa and hyacinth so I really want to talk about it because it is very intense and powerful when you smell hyacinths they are super fresh ultra strong kind of overwhelming all the other flowers and I really like its aroma but in here everything is perfectly balanced uh, the fruitiness is very gentle there is fig and rhubarb peach but everything is kind of powdered with vanilla so it's for those who want more glamorous perfumes but also some spring flowers in them because it will remind you of a beautiful and truly warm spring day however if you're more into rainy perfumes i was really impressed with this one hydrangea by jason it blew me away because it smells exactly like a spring garden does after the rain hyacinth in here is super realistic there's also jasmine lily of the valley iris rose violet but you smell the green leafiness it is not grassy but uh, kind of dewy like if you had raindrops all over the flowers and greenery in your garden so it smells really pure as well and i really like that about it so in case you like hyacinth that's probably the best recommendation I can give you but I have another one which is by Tiziana Terenzi and the perfume Vela is more summertime appropriate for me I really like the juiciness of all the fruits in here we have mango papaya 
and uh, maracuya so it kind of tastes milky which i enjoy there are some green nuances obviously that hyacinth but it's in the combination with elaine rose heliotrope and uh, it is truly mouth-watering really delicious fruity floral fragrance with a beautiful green milkiness i would say it is totally unisex and in case you can recommend me more hyacinth perfumes please do so because i don't have so many in my collection but i do have a lots of fragrances with a note of mimosa because it is one of my top favorites and I even have a top list dedicated to it. So make sure to check it out in case you need more information. But you guys, this is kind of like one of the first signs of spring, such a beautiful, sunny, fluffy yellow flower. And so let me tell you that there is a natural perfume, Love in a Mist, that uh, I've already reviewed on my channel lots of years ago. So you can watch that video, but it's kind of cringy. And it smells of wild flowers, like as if you go to the field and you can't really sense which flowers those are. They smell wild and true, very realistic. I know that there is mimosa and clover, but it is not as powdery, more natural than in other perfumes. However, I have so many more and a few that I want to talk about are uh, Bachi from far away because I really like the combination of powdery notes of mimosa that feel really sunny and sunshine-like in here and also you will be surprised uh, the note of a tomato leaf and you guys when you rub on it it has a very specific a little bit metallic and very optimistic vegetal scent and i get it in here but it turns really sunny a little bit powdery and super floral in case mimosa perfumes are too powdery for you check that one out however if you love powdery mimosa i have an ultimate one for you and that is angel's dust by francesca bianchi and for me, it is in the boudoir style, meaning the iris and mimosa pollens, they're almost sticky in here and powdered and uh, makeup-y like. So I totally enjoy it and other people do so too. It is such a compliment getter and if you love your powdery fragrances, this is a must-have and you can get it from Aquas Your Natural web shop. There are also samples available and I have a discount for you. So make sure to check it out. But let me tell you about more of... Um, Friendly fragrance for those who are just starting out with Mimosa. It's by Jo Malone called Mimosa and Cardamom. And the interesting thing about this one is that although it smells of kind of powdery Mimosa, it is actually a little bit spicy and very appropriate for more formal occasions like work, for example. So you can't go wrong with that one. Make sure to check it out in case you're looking for something a bit on the lighter side. However, if you love your powdery Mimosa and you're looking for a luxurious one this is probably the best recommendation i can give you mimosa tyron by the brand paris monte carlo mm. you guys it feels cosmetic it is powdery just truly elegant and very luxurious mimosa i always say that a wealthy lady should wear a fragrance like that so it's one of my all-time favorites and mimosa in there is just perfect but in case you're looking for a more modern take on this flower, I would say that a Love Mimosa by Amouage is the perfect choice for that because Mimosa in here is actually pretty juicy thanks to pear and it feels modern because of this molecule paradisome that I've already experienced in Le Chant de Camage by Latizan Parfumeur. So it is kind of powdery, it is kind of floral, but also with a fruity and watery nuance. So it it is very modern and lovely and in case you want like a new take on mimosa that's the best one i can recommend you but now let's move on from mimosa to narcissus and this is another truly springy flower with a very particular scent that i love but unfortunately it is pretty challenging to find a fragrance that will smell just like the flower i have a top list dedicated to this note make sure to check it out and let me know what's your favorite narcissus perfume the first one that i found quite realistic was Romanza by Musk Milano, but it is a little bit edgier and um, a little bit greener than the Narcissus is, probably because of hyacinth in here and some 
um, leafy um, um, violet uh, leaf facets, you know, uh, there is also that or a woodsiness in the base. So for me, it's more of a mysterious narcissist that I like to wear in the evening. However, a perfect daytime narcissist perfume is Olin by Diptyque and it's so positive, not only because of narcissists, but there is also some green jasmine and wisteria that is such a nice spring flower, very reminiscent of lilac and is also quite underrated these days. So let me know if you have any wisteria fragrance in your collection. But Olin also has this amazing note of honeysuckle, so there is something so truly naturally sweet and floral about it that it's such an optimistic, bright and positive perfume that will smell just like the real flower on you and it performs really well outside, on the fresh air, it is perfect for that. But I have something way more sexy for you and this volume 6 by Map of the Hearts has been on my wish list for a long time and once I got it I am so happy because this is an erotic scent. I don't know how else should I describe it. I can tell you there is shiso, leaf, neroli, basil, obviously narcissus but also broom, iris, jasmine, sandalwood, tobacco but you guys it's an erotic perfume. I get compliments for it and it is super sexy. Very particular unlike anything else I've ever smelled and there is this beautiful narcissus in there. So I would say it is quite a mysterious flower indeed and I have this beautiful complicated shadows by 4160 Tuesdays that was produced out of very high quality natural materials. Oris in here is mind-blowing. So in case you love powdery perfumes but you don't want them to be too floral, more woody, more just mysterious, I like to wear this one even in the evening when it is about to rain or just getting darker. It is quite um, you know, meditative and grounding, very relaxing, I would say, not too floral. But I have like a very creative take on Narcissus, like we had for Mimosa, and that is this perfume by January Scent Project called Dino Deceit. And when I first tried it out, I was absolutely blown away because there is narcissus in there but also celery seeds and I mean like they add something vegetal a little bit sweet and the salty water on the chewy sweet caramel is something so delicious and particular in the combination with celery seeds with beeswax and obviously narcissus it's kind of like such a mix of different genres and the fragrance is super strong, like it is ultra long lasting and I can highly recommend you that one in case you like something more particular, something more unique and you want an experience that you've never had before. So next up we have probably the most common spring flower and yes, you guessed it right, it's tulip with its elusive scent that is so hard to even describe and also to translate for perfume, it is quite challenging to find tulip fragrances that would smell like a flower, but I have a few in my collection and all time favorite is Amsterdam by Galavant. So it's a cozy perfume, there are some spicy notes in there, muskiness and note of tulip. That is uh, rather going into the fantasy direction, but sometimes, especially outside, I can smell the delicate and a very very elusive scent of tulip in there. However, there is another fragrance in my collection and this is kind of like a bouquet not only of flowers but also different fruits in the Giverny's uh, Impressions by Fortin Manley and the fragrance is very high quality, very natural smelling. There are so many different flowers. We have some exotic ones like tuberose and orange blossom, osmanthus, then the spring flowers, of course tulip but also so magnolia and we'll get into it just in a second but everything is kind of crisp and also sexy so it's expensive and also very luxurious when you smell it you'll be like whoa this is something so beautiful just like going to a beautiful blossoming garden definitely evokes uh, money's picture smelling it because you know everything is in there so when you smell you can't really say what's in there but you enjoy the last but not least to live that I have to share with you is one of my 
The last but not least tulip though that I have to share with you is Fior di Pane by Profume di Forte that I've already spoken about a couple of times on my channel because everyone at my house loves the scent of freshly baked bread. That is the accord that it opens with. However, later it settles down into almost the skin-like scent and there are tulips with iris. So yeah, absolutely love this perfume, such a compliment getter. And in case you love tulip too, I think this is the one you definitely need to check out. Okay guys, so now let's talk about one of the most romantic flowers out there and it is obviously peony. It is so gentle, it is so airy, it is so romantic and I have lots of fragrances with it and I definitely recommend you to check out my top list dedicated to this note, but I want to feature just a few of them in this video and this is Tio Tio Tsang by MDCI Paris. So what I really like about it is the juiciness and brightness of lychee, yuzu, tea, ginger, lemon together with cherry blossom and peony. So it almost smells like pink lemonade and I really really like the juiciness about it. But in case you are more into you know floral fragrances, this one Sakura Kimono by Mia Shinma goes more into the rose direction. So I really like this one in case I'm into the spring floral mood, you know. Just picture those beautiful huge bouquets of peonies. Oh, I'm still waiting for them to bloom in my garden. But yeah, that one has some juiciness of black currant and rosiness. But the one that I can recommend you to blind by the fragrance that has changed a lot in my collection and really influenced my taste. By the way, let me know if this is kind of like a topic you might be interested in, some perfumes that are most influential in my collection. But anyway, I'm talking about Geisha Baton and I have it in Roll-On Format by Aroma and Perfumes. And you can blind buy because it smells of vanillic, musky and sandalwoody peony paste. I don't know how else to describe it, but it is extremely textural. The Sayash is mind-blowing. You can smell it all day long. The projection is crazy and it lasts for many hours because it's in the oil format. So if you love um, some beautiful, powdery, creamy fragrances with flowers, this is the one you need in your life. But talking about some strong perfumes, I have this one by Montal and this is a sweet taste on peony and it is called like that sweet peony which I really enjoy in the summertime. I want to spray it right here and it got in my mouth but whatever. This is a delicious treat with coconut, vanilla, coffee, not much peony but I think there is something beautiful pinky about it so I like to take it in so I like to take it with me on vacations. I feel like it's not necessarily about peonies in the first place, but if you're looking for the one like that, it's by Maison Lincoln. It is called Pivoy Pritom, and it's quite a realistic take on this flower that is still fantasy-like, so perfumers need to come up with a course that smell like peonies. And this has the feeling of crystallized, very clean, but not soapy flower. So this is a very lovely and also very formal, very casual and elegant floral fragrance but if you more into sexy fragrances and you want more power this is one of the newer perfumes in my collection Nocturna by Royal Crown just look at it oh my god such a stunner and beautiful scent with some amber and uh, woodsiness peony in here is really sweetened by vanilla and in case you like Arbapura you know those really modern ambers I think you will also really enjoy this one I find it is very appropriate for a date night because it is truly sexy. However, if you're looking for the one that you can wear on an everyday basis, there is this very popular perfume by Verito called Blanche and it smells like freshly done laundry, maybe with some peonies that are quite soapy. So I think a lot of people know about that perfume and it is pretty lovely. However, you guys, this one Tanagra by Maison Violet. 
I actually keep in my purse because it is just perfect for any kind of occasion. I like to refresh myself with it and it fits any situation. The scent of airy flowers that are super clean and fresh. I get lots of compliments for it and I recommend you to check it out because you can't go wrong with a scent like that and you can even get it with my discount. But talking about some clean perfumes, let's move on to the note of Lily of the Valley that used to be so popular kind of like around the same period when lilac was in trend but these days these flowers are not in anymore which is a pity to me but I have a few fragrances with them and Lazy Sunday Morning by Miss Margiela that used to be so popular is one of them and this is another scent of you know freshly washed clothing that is very easy to wear on the everyday basis and uh, it's just something that smells clean and very appropriate you know a safe perfume for more casual days but in case you're on a hunt for a truly love the valid fragrance you guys i have the one like that by, Sa by Saver that is called Bells in May, like a perfect name. I really like how all the fragrances are called. And I have an interview with Linda, the founder and the perfumer on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me there in case you haven't done that already. But you guys, I don't know where to spray them. Maybe over here. Okay, so this is the realistic scent of of the Valley, maybe with some fruitiness, but it is more watery and more melon-like or pear. Like there is something fruity in there, but also just crispy, you know, it smells of true Lil of the Valley. So yeah, really like that. But I have another Lil of the Valley favorite and that's a metallic metal fort, you guys. I know that I've already spoken about it many times, but I try to include it in as many videos as I can because for me, this is such a phenomenal perfume that has this crisp note of aldehydes in the opening. So it feels clean and there is a little of the valley, but also amazing, super modern, sensual mask mixed with vanilla. Oh, it is just to die for. One of my signature scents for sure, you guys. But we are almost done. The final flower we have talk about is beautiful magnolia and it is so fragile so beautiful just majestic and there are a few fragrances with it in my collection so one of my all-time favorites would be Fleur de Lalita by Dusita and you guys what's special about this one is that everything is super pure and clear about uh, this floral composition in which we have white lilies, magnolia, jasmine, but they are highlighted by galbano, which is a greener material, and softened by ambret and musk, some woods in the base. So as I've said, everything is very clear and super well structured in this perfume. And that's for in case you're looking for a nice magnolia scent, that's the best one I can recommend you. And you can get it from Aquasio Natural. So maybe grab a sample, make sure to check it out because Ducita really knows how to blend fragrances super well so they are wearable and at the same time unique. But you guys, there is something else with Magnolia in my collection by Loeuf that is called Pink Magnolia and this is a special perfume that I've kindly received from my lovely subscriber Anna and I would say it is not phenomenal and groundbreaking in the way that it smells unique, but it's familiar and it is something so nice that people react positively to. So I really enjoy to wear just on more casual days when I still want a really nice fragrance because Magnolia is not a typical flower in your perfume, but at the same time, I want something that will bring me positive attention. And on that note, I guess that was all from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching this longer video, but I hope you found it helpful and informative. If so, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'm still waiting for your most favorite spring flower. But if you have any questions left, I'm here to answer them. So make sure to follow me on my Instagram and let's stay in touch. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one really soon. Bye guys.